Lionel Messi helped rescue an Argentine grandmother from Hamas abductors. Sounds fake, but is true. On the 7th of October, Hamas launched an attack on Israel. 250 Israeli citizens and soldiers were taken as hostages back to Gaza. 90-year-old Esther Cuneo was at the center of a terrifying ordeal alongside eight members of her family. What happened next? Watch this report. I'm from where Messi is from. It was these words that 90-year-old Esther Cuneo credits for saving her during the October the 7th rampage. Moments earlier, two Palestinian gunmen had invaded her home in southern Israel near the Gaza border. Cuneo, who was born in Argentina but lives in kibbutz near Oz, spoke about her horrifying encounter in a new documentary called Voces del Siete de Octubre, Latino Stories of Survival. As the two intruders demanded to know where her family was, she told them she couldn't speak Arabic, only Argentine Spanish. She said they asked what Argentina was, so, seizing the moment, she mentioned it was Lionel Messi's home country. So I tell him, do you watch soccer? He then says to me, yes, yes, I like soccer. So I say to him, I'm from where Messi is from. Then he replies, Messi, I like Messi. Then a surreal moment happened. He put my hand like this, right here. He gave the revolver to me, the shotgun. He put his hand like this and they took the picture of us. And well, then they left. The picture of Cuneo with an AK-47 on her lap, sitting next to a Palestinian militant, went viral on social media. In another part of Israel's near Oz, Cuneo's grandsons were taken hostage. Cuneo says she awaits the return of her golden boys. And now I hope that Messi knows that I mentioned him, and because of him I was saved. Now I would ask for my grandchildren, for my two grandchildren who are locked up in Gaza. I would tell him to please pray to God to send them to him. Because they are kids who are worth gold, one David and the other Ariel Cuneo. The Hamas attack on October the 7th sparked the devastating war in Gaza that has raged for more than five months. Argentina, Peru and Mexico have said co-nationals of their countries have been either killed or kidnapped in the conflict. For latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.